Greetings, I'm Force Nature, and I welcome you to Top Tier Tips. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at the Prime Minister of Poland, Lydia Sobieska. Lydia is a pretty strong character, it's based around stance-based mix-ups and frame advantages. Before you do anything, be sure to put on both your frame data for your main character, detailed display, and your opponent character. All right, I'm gonna go over some key moves right now. Lydia has her standard 10 frame jab. It's good, usual plus one on block. You can do stuff like one or one, two, or you can, or for a 10 frame punish, you have one, two, two, and then it goes through her cat stance too, but I'll go over stances a little later. For a go-to track and move or home and move, you have your back four. This move is safe on block at a minus three, and it does technically have follow-ups also. And let's see now, and for your go-to low, you'll be using down back and three well down back three two be careful that this move is unsafe on block she also has a standard generic um 12 frame down four for go to mids you have your down four plus one 13 frames plus two on normal hit although be careful it's minus five on block though it does have a fall up in down forward one two another good 13 frame mid is your forward four two like this is uh, like a just a good move in general it does lead into lydia's cat stance again i'll go over stances a bit later um for other go to mids oh yeah Forward 1 plus 2 is a really good on um, 14 frame, just, well, it's basically like a built-in string, like, check this out. Right there, so forward 1 plus 2, then 3, 2, 1, I mean, like, this is actually, it's a pretty, it's a pretty devastating, um, natural combo right there, so it's like a really good 14 frame move. For mid pokes, or down forward plus 4, or forward forward 4, are both pretty good, even though they seem, like, almost identical, they're both 15 frame, um, mid kicks, although forward forward 4 gives you a bit more advantage when it does... Connect and the frame advantages on block are also um are also slightly different. But even that they're like they're very they're very similar moves. Another good mid hidden move is back one plus two right here. So this punch to the gut, it's plus six on on a normal hit. It's uh comes out in sixteen frames. If it gets blocked, it's safe. So it's like a good move from around like um the same like general poking range from like mid range. This is a good move. Uh, as for your hop kick, it's up forward four right here. Comes out. In 15 frames if it gets blocked you're left at minus 13 so it's just a pretty decent um hop kick for go to frame advantage moves on block when you're not in stance you have your down one comes out in 19 frames leaves you at plus two so a good go-to move another move that you can use is also her down forward four four this move right here all right this move leaves you at plus six when blocked it says it comes out in 12 frames but because it's actually a cancel out of uh down forward four so down forward 4-4, four, four. so it's actually coming out a bit slower, but it's still a pretty good move. And anytime you have the opponent on the defensive, just mix them up with down back 3-2. Just be careful though that this move is minus 26 on block, so if it gets blocked, you're getting launched. As for punishers, for 10 frames you have 1-2-2, two, two. Uh, for 11 frames you have back 1-2, for 12 frames you have forward 2-4, four. for 13 frames you could still just use forward 2-4, four, but you can also use... Forward, forward, two. If you want to go into stance while standing, uh, for 14 frame Punisher, you have forward one plus two, three, two, one. So that beastly move right there. And of course, for 15 frame, you have your hop kick. As for Punisher from Crouch, you have your 11 frame, which is while you're while standing for two. For your 12 frame, you have full crouch down forward two right here. This big elbow move. Uh, for your 13 frame Punisher, you have while standing one, two. And now for everything else, you have your 15 frame while standing, launcher while standing, plus two. Remember, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you like this video, just hit the like button anyway. And don't forget to subscribe for more juicy fighting game content. I would also like to take this moment to thank my premium top tier fighters for their continued support, which I always do appreciate. If you'd like to become a premium top tier fighter yourself, click on the Patreon link down below. And also, if you have trouble with any of the terminology in this video, then be sure to check out this video here to help shed some light on the nature of fighting game notation.
Lydia has three primary stances. She has cat foot stance one, cat foot stance two, and heaven and earth stance. The first thing I'm going to note is that if you end up going into either cat foot stance one or cat foot stance two, if you end up pressing back, then you end up doing this backflip here called back quitty or something like that. It just looks kind of like a like a jaguar step. If you end up pressing one, so the jab button, then you end up getting this big punch here, which can be used. Basically, you could use this stance to kind of induce a whiff, then whiff punish with the punch. The next thing I want you to note is that you cannot block in any of the stances. So that basically means when you enter into a stance, if you don't do anything, the opponent can attack you. So you basically have to choose an option. However, since you can't block while in the stance, if you end up entering into the stance at frame advantage, then you have the ability to frame trap your opponent. The first stance that we're going to be taking a look at now is cat foot stance one, imported with forward three plus four. You can also enter into the stance off of forward forward two, and then you automatically go into the stance. Once you enter into the stance, your go-to move is going to be the one option or your jab option. This one gives you a plus four guard break. If you want to kind of like keep the opponent in check, then you use the two option. Catfoot Stance 2 is a mid that tracks a bit to Lydia's right and is safe if guarded. Catfoot Stance 2 is also a launcher if it connects on counter hit. For a bit of priority with regards to moves at a Catfoot Stance 1, you can use Catfoot Stance 2 as your um, stop mashing button. Uh, for your go-to frame advantage move, you have Catfoot Stance um, 1. And once the opponent's actually respecting your frames on a defensive, then you could use Catfoot Stance 4 as your slower guard break, leaves you at plus 8. And if for some reason the opponent is trying to interrupt with something slower, then you can, you can use Cat Foot Stance 3 to launch the opponent. Oh, and also Cat Foot Stance 4 gives you a hard knockdown that allows you to get a down 2 for free if it connects. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Cat Foot Stance 2. Input it with back 3 plus 4. You can also enter into it with 1, 2, 2, or other moves like up 4 plus 4. See, both of these automatically go into the stance. All right. A go-to you can try and do from this stance is try and mix up the opponent with cat foot stance 2, 4. So this low sweep right here. It does have a fall up in cat foot stance 2, 4, 4. Um, I will warn you though that this move is minus 26 on block. So if you get if it ends up getting guarded, then you will get launched. If you want to try and dis well discourage the opponent from crouching, then you can use cat foot stance 2, 1. Alright, so this move is... Safe on block at minus 9, although I know it's a little slower at um, 20 frames, but that is your mid out of the stance. Alright. If you'd like a couple of, like kind of like quicker options, your high options out of here, like cat foot stance 3 comes out pretty fast. It's also safe on block. And same with cat foot stance 2, which is also a 3 hit string. Which is 2, 3, 1, and it's also um, safe on block. Also, if you'd like a quick mid out of Cat Foot Stance 2 to discourage crouching, you also have Cat Foot Stance 2, 1 plus 2 right here. Take note though, that it is minus 10 on block. And the last stance we're gonna take a look at now is the Heaven and Earth Stance, entered off of Cat Foot Stance 1, then pressing forward like so. All right, this stance only has three options out of them and they're all punches, however, they're all pretty good. Um, similar to the Pounce and Tiger Stock and Wolf Stance, you do have a low if you do Pounce and Tiger 2, so you can use this option right here to keep your opponent in, in check to make sure that they're like checking their ankles. Although if, naturally, of course, this, this option is a bit slower than the other ones. Catfoot Stance 2 is complemented by the aptly named Pounce and Tiger Stock and Wolf. Pounce and Tiger Stock and Wolf Stance is entered by pressing forward out of Catfoot Stance 2. All right, your quick option out of, um, I'll just call it the Pounce and Tiger Stance is the two option, comes out quite fast. If it, if it were to get blocked, you're safe at minus seven. All right, your mix-up option out of the Pounce and Tiger stance will be the four option right here. Gives you a decently quick low. If it gets blocked, it's minus 12, so it's not too bad. Um, if you would like a bit of a guard break option, or a, well, I mean, frame advantage option, then your, your one option right here is well, it's, it basically is plus six. If it it's plus six, if it ends up connecting, and when you hit the opponent, you end up um, knocking them back. You also have a small string in Pounce and Tiger three one. With regards to move priority out of Pounce and Tiger, what you're gonna do is basically mixing up the opponent between the fast mid option or or the low option. Once the opponent's on the defensive end, respecting the stance, then you can use the one option for the plus six frame advantage. The option that the opponent doesn't want to get hit by out of heaven and earth 
is the mid option, Heaven and Earth 1, which is also a combo starter on normal hit. If this move gets blocked, then you are safe at minus 6. And on top of this, Lydia has a uniquely dangerous move out of the, also out of the Heaven and Earth stance, or Heaven and Earth 1 plus 2. But when it connects the opponent, it gives you a bit of a knockback, comes out fairly fast, you can run up, do some Oki or something like that. However, this move is arguably more dangerous even if it gets blocked. You see that? At least you went plus 14. It's basically a go-to guard break for Lydia. It gives you enough frame advantage for guaranteed follow-ups, such as a guaranteed forward 1 plus 2 string. Naturally, all of the options out of the Heaven and Earth stance are pretty good and very dangerous in their own way. But I will give you a little warning though, with regards to just basically Lydia's stances in general, they could be somewhat vulnerable to, well, sidesteps. So you have to be sure to be really careful about the opponents trying to do that. In close range with Lydia, what you're going to be doing is leading with your jab, whether it be 1, 1, 2, or 1, 2, 2. Just use different variations of those. Um, her jab is plus one on block like most jabs and it's the foundation of most characters offense and Lydia is no exception So her jab's really good. If you want a mid check then you have your um, down forward plus one again It has the falls, but even just doing down forward plus one is okay And you can also use forward forward one like both of these are good fast mids and your low to end up for basically well mixing up your opponent of course will be your down back three two I already I warned you earlier that it is pretty unsafe, but at 16 frames, this is unreactable. So this is basically just used as a mix-up for when your opponent is basically stand guarding, then you try and sneak this in. If you want a slightly safer, or I should say, well, slightly less unsafe, you have down back four, gives you plus one frame advantage, so then you can still do your... I mean, after this connects, then you get enough frames to still use your jab or elbow, that's why I call this elbow, I'm nonsense right here. So this one is a little slower at 22 frames, where of course down back 3, 2 is 16 frames. So this is basically an unreactable knockdown low. To keep sidestep in check, you have your back 4 home and move. And of course if the move hits, then you can finish the string with back 4-4-4. Four, four, four. If you predict a low is coming, you can blow it up with your up forward plus 4 hop kick. And if you'd like a safer um, low crush move, then you have your forward forward 3 plus 4. If this move gets blocked, you'll be safe at minus eight. If you'd like a high crushing low to use against your opponent, so basically a low that can go under high, so you have your down back two. All right, it's got decent range, leaves you at minus one on normal hit. However, if it were to connect on counter hit, then it leaves you at plus two. So it's a pretty dangerous low when it connects on counter hit. If the opponent ends up using a low on your outside of your hop kick range, then you can punish it with forward, forward three. And take note that your four, your 13 frame high kick, is a combo starter on counter hit. Do 4 2. In the mid range neutral game with Lydia, you can either poke your opponent with forward forward 2 or forward forward 4 is okay, along with down forward 4. Or if you end up inching into close range, then, then you can end up getting into your jab range. From the right space, and you can also utilize your 3 2, which is also a really dangerous combo starter. Um, if the move does end up getting blocked, then the second hit leaves you at plus two. Other moves you can use include back one plus two, your good gut punch move, or back three right here, which also has a follow-up in back three one, which looks similar to back one plus two. However, be careful that back three one, the second hit is minus 11 on block, meaning that you can get jab punished. And remember, you can occasionally punish Wisp with a cat stance back one. When you have the opponent at the wall as Lydia, you could end up wall slamming them with stuff such as forward two, four, down forward one, three, or four three for a few samples. After you do, after you wall slam the opponent, then follow up with back three four quarter circle forward one plus two. Now let's take a look at Lydia's defensive techniques. For starters, she has two power crush moves: down back one plus two, and down forward three plus four. These moves are minus fourteen and minus 12 on block respectively. Lydia has a couple Sabaki maneuvers, so those are strikes that can beat out, well, other strikes. For instance, against an opponent's right punch, Lydia has her down forward one plus two. So for instance, if the opponent were to do a right punch against me, then you can end up parrying them, even though the timing can be a little tight at times. And it doesn't seem to work as well on characters like Kunimitsu, so use at your own risk. On the bright side, it is safe on block at minus two. 
And now for Lydia's low Sabaki, her down back 3 plus 4. Alright, as you can see right here, when this move connects, you end up getting that kind of cool little like mini cutscene right there, that little close-up. And I feel that this connects maybe a little bit more easily than like the down forward 1 plus 2. Though under most circumstances, if you know a low is coming, just do a low parry. This move is also safe on block at minus 3. And now we're going to take a look at Lydia's special parry for high block, back 1 plus 3, or back uh, 2 plus 4, you can input it either way. It'll defend against high punches and mid punches, regardless if it's left or right, it'll defend against both types. So that's a lot more coverage than down forward 1 plus 2. However, down forward 1 plus 2 is a sabaki, so it's an attack, whereas uh, the high parry is basically like back 1 plus 3 is just, well, a parry. And like, so let's see if I can time it right. Right here, you can actually get a little combo afterwards, but it has to be like quickly in in input uh, 2 1 2. Or if you don't really want to worry about getting a time, and then just mash 1 plus 2 3 times. For the most part, Lydia's throw game is nothing really remarkable. However, she has a pretty unique 1 plus 3 throw. As you can see right there, it does 35 damage, although, as you can also see, it leaves the opponent standing. Though it does leave you at neutral so you can't really like pressure afterwards or anything like that unless of course you have the opponent in the corner and as you can see right there it doesn't really you don't really get pushed out that much because it's in a corner and you still near in range so you can actually just like keep throwing repeatedly although of course it's a throw so it can be broken but as you see it's leaving you at neutral so that means all you're gonna do after it's the typical kind of jab down forward one and maybe like a down four anything like that so however the things that the opponents can be afraid of is obviously getting thrown repeatedly or let's say getting wall slam by forward to four or getting wall slam with down forward one three Lydia's two plus through uh two plus four throw or her um, right side throw ends up um just switching sides it also deals 35 damage all she will let you know her side throws the throws from the side they're basically ex almost exactly the same or Except for you get, well, you just get an extra 5 damage, you get 40 damage. But there aren't really any sort of, like, special, like, throws or anything in that case. And the rear throw ends up dealing 50 damage. Oh, and Lydia's command throw, up forward 1 plus 2. Right there, it ends up dealing 40 damage, ends up knocking the opponent back. It also has the ability to wall slam your opponent. Although you have to, you have to, fall, with a, you have to fall with a different um, follow-up. Just simply do a down forward 1-3. Um, Lydia's Rage Art, down 1 plus 2, is a pretty standard Rage Art. Dealing 55 damage and knocking the opponent pretty damn far away. Lydia's Rage Drives are strong. Yes, she has to. The first one I'm going to show you is forward forward uh, 2 plus 3. As you see right here, it is a combo starter. And if it were to get blocked, at least you had a ridiculous plus 27. Let me show you that combo again off of this rage drive. However, take note that that plus 27 is a bit misleading because you automatically go into the cat foot stance one. And of course, entering into this stance naturally will take up some frames, so you can't get anything guaranteed off of it. So just use your normal cat foot stance one, um, well, fall up tool, since you do get a free pressure opportunity after this uh, rage drive gets blocked. Lydia's other rage drive isn't as strong as forward forward two plus three. Uh, this other rage drive is actually done from a stance, from her pounce and tiger stock and wolf stance. So the back three plus four then forward then you press four two see right here this doesn't really allow you to really get much you can get enough free um down to follow up however be careful though that if this move ends up getting um blocked for instance then you leave yourself at uh, minus two even though it does force crouch on your opponent and i forgot to ex uh, state earlier that you can enter into the Cat foot stance two stance by doing um down forward uh down forward plus two. I hope this guide was helpful in some way, even if it was in like a really small or tiny way. But yeah, anyways, if you like this video, smash this like button. If you didn't like this video, just hit the like button anyway, and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy fighting game content. 
Um, yeah, I do have a few other um, Tekken 7 guides if you'd like to check them out. Um, this video is endorsed by Smart Esports and Trollcoin, and I also want to take this moment to thank my premium top tier fighters for their continued support, which I always do appreciate. If you'd like to become a premium top tier fighter yourself, click on the Patreon link down below. Anyways, this is Force Nature signing off. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Top Tier Tips. And then you end up wall slamming the opponent, and then just follow up with this usual wall slam combo. Actually, wait a minute, can you not follow up after this? Oh shit! Can you not do anything after this? Oh, okay, okay, you gotta be...